recently, many of our people have died. And this is not the first time. In 2007, many of our people were killed. In 2013, the same. In 2017, the same. Now in 2022, again 2023. I want to say that this is enough. That the price for killing a Luo must now be very expensive. It is not going to be normal for Luos to be killed like hens. I said in parliament that what happened from the list that, that Wandai has read, 90% of those people were killed at Luos. That's why I said in parliament that what has happened in this country to us is genocide. And I maintain that this is genocide because it is something which was, was organized by this regime to exterminate the sons and daughters of our community. And we have said that this is going to be the end of this practice. And the life of a Luo is going to be very expensive. So that we get done with Siaya County, I will call just two people very quickly. Let me call first the speaker of Siaya to speak on behalf of all MCS present. The Honorable Jojo Kode. The Azimio leadership, the families of the bereaved, the families of the maimed, Jothuru Auntie, Odichieng Makawuna Wadwa Wacho Martin, Tabro Wacho, Gimajo Penjombo Nimondo Wachi, Baba Mokwongo Tik Tik, Adwa Gonejo Penjero Kamano Kuom Chung, Samanidwa Nejo Penjmondo Chung, Neu Chung Kosok Nu Chung, Samanidwa Rue Di Mondo Di Endara, Neu Di Kosok Nu Di. Kidwaro rue di king kendenda ra ubo di kosoko bedi, and I want to put that in English for the benefit of the leadership that is visiting here today. That our people have said unanimously that should there be need for our people to go back to the streets, they will go. Udi kosoko di. And because I'm speaking on behalf of the lead local leadership, I want to thank very sincerely the MCS that led demonstrations on our land. Because we have classic examples, Mag MCS that was summoned to go to the police and record statement. We also have one special one whom they arrested, put in the cells, had no charge, but presented him in the courts. Otare, will you stand wherever you are? Otare Maranda Reni Nagi Mako Magitero Moni in the cell. And we want to say that we thank you because you have a heart that is bigger than your size and you have dared them to arrest you even tomorrow. Bondoka Nenitie Olivarika Nenitie Nenitie Otiato Francis Mabende called Min Bondo, Mabende nobody summoned ka police, and they have told me on your behalf to promise that it does not matter how many times they will be summoned, it does not matter how many times they will be arrested, they will go to demand for the rights of the people alive and dead. And as I finish, the Inspector General of Police and the Kenyan government. It cannot be gainsaid that we have police who are acting on behalf of illegal instructions from the government. And to the Inspector General of Police, the law requires you to be responsible for what you say. The Leadership and Integrity Act demands of you that you be responsible for what you say. And when you give misleading information, you will be answerable for that. And we dare you, if you believe strongly believe that this is just games, then put an affidavit to it under oath, say that these people were not killed by the police, then we will meet you Omundu Kwangono, Omundu Omundu Kwangono, Omundu Thank you very much Thank you Speaker, the Honorable Dr. Christine Ombaka, Women Rep CIA Ni baba, ni mama, ni leadership mara zimio, ni jopinte. 
Achunka wa achoni, the blood of the dead is on the hands of the 